Lightning struck that thing 60 years ago. Yeah, I know. November 12, 1955. I always remember that day. Do you know why? Because this old buzzard tried to shaft me out of 300 bucks for fixing his car. Oh, uh, shut up, Terry. The car was filled with manure, Biff. Manure. I am a mechanic. I'm not some kind of stable boy. Ah, you live it in the past, Terry. Dad's home. Lord of the manor. Hello, hello. King of the castle. Hello. What the hell is this? Lithium mode on. It's better. Damn kids. Hey. Watch a little TV for a change. Is that my mom? Is that my mom? Marty. Oh, hey, princess. Hi, son. Dad, what the hell happened? You throw your back out again? Oh, I was out on the golf course. And... Oh, Dad, I told you to watch that backswing. No, he was hit by a car. It, it just fell out of the sky. He could have been killed. And I was too under par. I don't know what this world is coming to. Marty, how was work? Oh, Mom, I'm telling you, that big promotion is just around the corner. Anyway, I'm starving. Let's eat. Come on, son, let's go. It's dinner time. Dad, I'm watching these programs. Mister, we eat at the dinner table when your grandparents are here. Put your damn glasses on, huh? Dad, I can only watch two shows at once on these things. Yeah, you kids really got it rough. When I was your age, I wanted to watch two shows at once. I had to put two sets next to each other. Here you go. Oh boy, oh boy, Mom. You sure can hydrate a pizza. Oh, no, I'm sorry, I missed that whole thing. Well, I thought oh, it would be nice oh, if we threw no. a little party. Oh, now, Mom, before we throw any more parties for Uncle Joey, let's wait to see if he makes it to the George, will you rotate your axis? It's not good for your digestion to eat while you're inverted. Okay, dear. Four. <laughs> you call him. Oh, you call him. Okay. Uh, Marlene, oh, honey, pass Marlene. the kill. No, I don't want to, oh. so nump off. Okay. Marlene, don't talk to your father that way. Grandma, I'm on the phone, okay? I'd like some tea, please. <sighs> Look, I'm gonna have to call you back. I still think Marlene, we shouldn't have started tea, eating dinner. Damn your... it, Marlene, pass the damn cup of tea. Why isn't she home yet? I'm not sure where Jennifer is, Mom. Should have been home That's hours fruit. ago. I'm having a hard time keeping track it's fruit. of these days. Fruit, so please. Thank you. Aren't you and Jennifer getting along? Oh. oh my goodness. She's tranked again. Come on, Heidi. Heidi. Come on, boy. We're going home. Inside, inside, yeah, And don't ever come begging for drinks in here again, you friggin' lush. Can't you guys take a joke? Dave. Dave? Marty! What's happening, bro? Say, you're looking kind of ragged there. Did you sleep in your clothes again last night? Dave! Dave, my God, what happened to you? What happened to the town? What the hell is going on here? So when did you get oh, back? Back? Back from where? Well, if you don't know, 
I don't know. Say, let's go have a drink. Hey, I gotta find Mom and Dad. Dad? Gotta find Dad? What's the matter with you anyway? And since when are you and Mom on speaking terms again? Speaking terms. Where is she, Dave? Tell me where I can find Mom. Same place as usual, I guess. In there. Lightning struck that thing. This longer version of uh, the uh, Terry scene was to establish the relationship between Terry and Biff that pays off in 1955. And also, uh, Terry mentions the specific date that old Biff is going to go back to. So the idea was that was what inspired Biff to pick that date to go back in time when he steals the DeLorean. Of the manor. Hello, hello. King of the castle. This longer version of uh, Old Marty Coming Home is this? shows a lot more of uh, the small talk and introduces all the family who, of course, we've already met. TV for a change? We're showing off our six screen television there. Is that my mom? We're showing off hey, what we can do with I'm our uh, hey, Vista Glide camera here. And oh, I was out on the golf course. when push came to shove and we put the movie together, showing off our ability to do visual effects wasn't a good enough reason to keep this long version of the scene in there, which doesn't really carry any important information that has anything to do with the rest of the movie. It's nice that we've got it, and uh, you can see what uh, we were trying to do, what Bob was trying to do with this uh, new tool that he had, the Vista Glide camera, to show off, again, that we could put two or three Michael J. Foxes in the scene. With, uh, in this, the uh, Marlene character in the back was actually a stand-in and not played by Michael J. Fox. I wanted to watch two shows at once. I had to put two sets next to each other. Here you go. Oh boy, oh boy, Mom. This is the long version of the pizza scene, and it's played for a lot of it now in this master that really shows off the fact that we were able to put three Michael J. Foxes on the screen at one time. And not such a hard thing to do now, but back in 1989, this was, uh, this was a pretty big deal. The problem with it, and the reason that we cut it out, or cut it down and intercut it, was that as cool as it is, that's really all that it is. It's not a scene that's about anything. It doesn't really advance the story or the characters. It's just a show-off shot that allows us to do that. And in fact, uh, even those intercuts were added later to try to make it more interesting. Uh, and it did play completely in a master shot. Ken Ralston will be happy to see it restored this way because he put a hell of a lot of work into it. And uh, now you get to see it as well. Aren't you and Jennifer getting along? This little button on Jennifer fainting oh. was simply because we thought the McFly family should react to the fact that these bodies thumped down. Oh my goodness. Again, we decided She's we didn't need it. Again. Here is the extension of the scene where Biff has come back and is erased from existence. Which, as we explained, was cut out because the audience just didn't understand how this could be the case. But Biff changing 1985 had set something in motion that erased his future self from existence. We surmise that uh, Lorraine shot him sometime around 1990. That great bumper sticker, I break for birds. Here we are in 1985A. This is the burned out school, an ILM shot that never we never quite had him finish. Again, it was just overkill. It's clear in this shot that's in the movie that uh, the school has been completely trashed 
and Strickland explains it. This is a really pretty good scene here with uh, Martin McClure as uh, Dave, Marty's older brother. And the reason that we ended up cutting this scene out was because we did not have uh, an analogous scene with his sister. Wendy Jo Sperber was pregnant at the time we shot this, so she was in no condition to, uh, to work. We would have had her as a hooker, probably. But by asking, the, showing what happened to Dave, it raises the question, well, if we're going to see Dave, well, what happened to Linda? And because we can't show Linda, it just felt out of balance. So it was better, we were better off just cutting the whole scene out. And you don't see either Dave or Linda, so you're not inclined to ask what happened to them. Where is she, Dave? Tell me where I can find Mom. Same place as usual, I guess. In there!